Hey guys, <clears throat> today's video is brought to you by my new sponsor, Glasses. My bad old ass eyes. Ah, much better. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you real quick, real quick, which means it's a 20 minute video, how to set your MIDI velocity. This is useful for a variety of reasons, so we'll just try to get right down to it. Uh, you could hit F10 or go to, where's my mouse, Options, MIDI Settings. You should see this uh, MIDI setting window come up. And down here where, where the mouse is, you can see it says Link Note on Velocity 2, and it should be set to Velocity. But the magic is within the editor for the uh, Velocity Curve or ve the Velocity Mapping. Um, now, there are two situations where you're going to want to uh, mess with this. One is if your MIDI pressure or velocity, you're, it's difficult for you to use your MIDI device to hit softer velocities or harder velocities. It's usually going to be one of those two issues. If your problem is when you're playing, well, let me, let me sh show you what's happening on the screen. There's a slanted line. This line here represents the volume of what you're trying to play. The, uh, this line here, the vertical line, represents your actual pressure on the keyboard. So as I press a key, you can see it jumps around a bit. So uh, if I was having trouble playing softly, which that actually is one of my issues, um, what I could do is I could take this curve and I could move it like this. What this means is the harder I hit the key is this line, right? So now my normal playing is at a lower volume. It's basically translating my velocity into what this curve is telling it to be. So it feeds it back into FL Studio in a way that it there I can play the softer notes better now but let's say you had the opposite problem you were I have heavy hands let's say you were trying to hit those those high notes or those harder velocities and it wasn't working well put your curve in the opposite direction now I'm using pretty dramatic curves okay but what this will do is you can have barely touching the key and it's loud that's the direction you would move to uh, fix it in the other with the other problem. Now, FL Studio being FL Studio and Image Line being Image Line, they ain't happy with just that because in my case, I can go further. I can help, I can set this to help me hit those low notes. But when I do that, you'll notice my curve up here is also affected, which means now I have a harder time hitting that the high notes. But I can edit that. I can put in a little node there, maybe move it back a bit. I could even give this an opposite curve like that to help me get a little bit louder notes once I get to a certain threshold. Maybe I want that back a little bit. Whatever. Now I have access to those higher notes a little easier and access to the lower sweet notes a little easier based off my playing style. I can customize it. So can you. Uh, so play around with it. Don't forget to hit accept and you're done. That's it. Are we 20 minutes yet? No. Okay. So we're not 20 minutes. I'm going to have to talk about something completely random. No, I'm not. But what you can see on your screen above my head right here is my Akai Fire. And I've got some buttons there which are showing a project I'm working on. So check my channel if you want to see what it's all about. It's basically a FL Studio MIDI looper thing. And um, that's about it. Have fun, you guys.